What's going on, everybody? Draylon Young here. Um, I have been getting a lot of uh, people that have been kind of confused or even um, just not as tech savvy to know how to utilize the multi tracks uh, that we sell on our on on my website. And uh, I know Easter's coming up and people are trying to get that stuff ready. Some people have never used this stuff before. They've never uh, they've never even heard of uh, the, the name of a couple of companies uh, that uh, that we use. Um, and by the way, this video is not endorsed by uh, Loop Community or uh, Multitracks.com. But uh, they have some really cool products uh, that we utilize here at the church, at First Church that I'm the worship pastor at. And um, we're going to show you uh, just one of those in which it's very helpful, very user friendly. Uh, it's by the company um, loopcommunity.com. This is where most people buy a lot of their multi tracks that they use for their church. And uh, but we can utilize their platforms. I utilize their platforms by selling my multi tracks on my website. And you can take the stems and upload them to your account that you have with Loop Community or multitracks.com and I want to show you how to do that okay um, and if you've never done it before uh, this video is going to really help you to be able to do that so uh, I'm going to go ahead and switch over to my screen recorder and then I'm going to show you exactly the process of downloading the stems uh, you know grabbing them and putting them and uploading them so that you can use them for your Sunday service okay all right okay so we are now entering into the space where you would normally go over here to my website and you would punch in drillingyoungmusic.com up here at your in your browser and then you click over here where it says um, resources and it'll go down to the multi tracks to so find your multi tracks whatever you want say this is the big one right now because it's Easter time a lot of people are singing uh, I still remember so whenever you finish putting all of your information in and and buying um, you know your car credit card information all that kind of stuff when you finish that it'll give you this screen right here where it gives you this ability to download so when you go to this download you click on that and it'll take you to this place right here and it's like a separate link to where you can click this link and it'll send you to uh, basically you know the Dropbox file that has all of it. it says it's too big and then it's gonna you know ask you to download it so that you can have it so I've already downloaded this so it goes right here in your downloads and what's gonna pop up is this right here it says multi-track I still remember key of C 80 BPM we're gonna click on that and it's gonna make this screen right here in front of us and so what you do at this point you hold on to this and you're going to go over to loopcommunity.com. Okay. Now I made a different, um, I made a different login. This is for my wife. She doesn't have one. So we just made her one just for the sake of the video. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and log into her account. Uh, no, we don't want to save that. So then it's going to put you here. Okay. Now you have your own, uh, you know, login. You have your own page through loopcommunity.com. Again, that's loopcommunity.com. And you're going to create your own thing. This is your profile. It shows all the different things. So now here, when you look over here, it's going to be the Prime Cloud. Uh, you know, it purchases all this kind of stuff. So you're going to go over to your Prime Cloud. Right now, the Prime Cloud, there are no uploads that have been on uh, this account because it's a brand new account. So I'm just acting like I'm a brand new member, right? This is my first time. So, um we're going to go ahead and this little spot right here is this little cloud it's like a little thing pointing up to the clouds is saying like uploading here so it says hey you know do you want to use this how do you want to use this track personal use so they give you 300 megabytes you know that's not really enough right but so what they do is is that they charge you to become a member so when you become a member you know you can go to the go to the prime things over here and what baby yes hold on baby hold on um okay so now you're gonna go over here sorry my son is screaming at me he wants to play some instruments um so here we can go to this spot and be 
become a pro where it says become a pro. So now it's going to ask you to, you know, pay five dollars a month or you can view all the plans. Right. So it's going to say and really what you're paying for is, you know, the space to be able to upload as many tracks as you as you have. And you'll look through that and see which one works for you. Uh, I personally think that um, this one is really good, at least the Pro Plus. That way you never have to worry about your space. You know, 500 gigs is a lot of space. Um, you know, even the terabyte. Um, we use, I believe we use the Pro Premium because we want to be able to have multiple team members on here so that they can view the content, be able to view the uh, the, you know, the interface to be able to have all that type of stuff. So, um, but just starting off, we're just going to select this plan, this, the starter plan. And, uh, so we'll click on that and, you know, we'll put in a card number. So now I'm going to put in, I'll put in all my information. I'm going to go ahead and subscribe to bro. So now I'm going to wait for that to go through. Okay. Welcome to Clark Star. Now I'm a cloud starter so now i have 50 gigs of uh space to be able to use for the mobile app okay the mobile app looks like this all right so when you get the mobile app here you can you know use all and you see all of the tracks that we use here at our church um you know the cool thing like for my stuff here um you know it has all the stuff there you can, you know, control all of this stuff uh, through faders. You know, we have the alto, we have out acoustic guitar, drums, all that sort of stuff. Um, let's see, maybe I can kind of get it going possibly. So you can play this stuff. Just like that. And you can control the faders up and down, you know. So that's really cool about this thing is that it's really, really user friendly. You can turn whatever you want up and down or off and on. You can solo those things here and there. You can solo multiple things. Uh, this is a very great tool that they have made for um, running tracks at your church. So uh, you can use any of this stuff here. Now, the question is, how do we get our songs on here onto, you know, whatever it is that we're doing? So I'm going to show you how to do that really quickly. So now we, now that we have our um, now that we have our uh, situation already, um, you know, paid for, we have our uh, membership now we can upload and we can also sell tracks if we want to. But usually we just use them for personal use. So now that you have this, you're going to go back to the page where you had all of uh, the tracks and stuff like that from here, right here. So this is when you download, this is what you purchase whenever you go on DrillingYoungMusic.com. You purchase this and I'm going to show you how to upload them. So now you go to samples in this whole thing that, we're, that, that you purchased, it comes with uh, the Ableton project info it comes with the the Ableton live session right here that's what that ASL stands for um, so if you use Ableton you can just utilize it straight from that session we've made for you or you can just go to the samples which is all of the you know all of the individual instruments uh, you know what let's take all the ASD stuff and then we're going to delete them out of the file because you won't really need them if you don't use these. So say you just drag all of these over to the trash. So now all you have is this, right? So then now you can just do all of these. So, okay, so then we got these right here. So then you right click these and then you compress. And then when it compresses, it's going to make you a full file just like that. It's going to take a little bit of time for it to load up. Okay, so now we are just finished. We just finished uh, compressing all those files into this archive zip. So then you can just name this. What I like to do is name it. I still remember. And then I like to put the BPM there in the key. So 
uh, the key of C in parentheses and then 80. So this way I know, and that's gonna, you're gonna need to know that, and I'm gonna show you why you need to know that here in a second. So now that's finished, just like that, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna exit out of this because you don't need this anymore. You're gonna go back over to your upload track on Loop Community. And then on this spot right here, scroll down where it says drag your file on this screen. So all you do is go over here and you have to drag it but it has to be zipped up. You see where it says all files inside a zip should be audio files, MP3, WAV, or MP4. So all of these are here. They're in the WAV file format. That's the best uh, recording quality that you would need for the audio. So then you drag that over and then it should start loading up just like that. So while that's loading, you just kind of wait there, figure that out let that kind of go but you can continue on here where it says continue and it's going to start asking you just a few questions about the song what's the name of the song the name of the song is i still remember so i'm kind of a stickler about making sure the punctuations are right the name of the artist is yours truly draylon young and the bpm is 80 remember we saw that this is going to self generate a click for you um, the time signature is going to be 4 4 timing and the key is the key of C and while that's loading you can add your art uh, it says drag your custom art here um, and so we have put that as well in that same folder as before sorry I, I lost it here we go back in this folder again so click that it's still in this folder so you can just drag right there you see where it says the unseen JPEG so you can just drag that over and it'll upload to it right there just like that so now you have the cover art on there uh, oh the BPM has changed I must have hit something there so that's 80 and then right now it's still loading up so we're still at 26% so whenever we get to 100% we'll be able to continue on Okay, so now that our uh, now that all the data has been loaded up and everything is uploaded, um, so now we're gonna hit this continue button, and as we go here, now you're gonna get to the place where you're where you're naming all of uh, the individual tracks. So this first one, it, what I do is is they're not gonna want like any of the spaces and stuff like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna erase this. And I'll put synth vox. You know, I'll leave that there, and leave that for synth strings. Looks okay. Uh, it says piano, so you just match piano. Percussion. I'm gonna erase uh, the space in the IRC. Um, keys. We'll leave that there. Uh, electric two. I'm just gonna erase that. Drums. Bass synth. So I might add that right there. Uh, actually. Caps, bass synth, uh, acoustic guitar, put that there, electric one, and then choir, and then regular bass. So then whenever I get all those named, it'll say whether or not it's ready for me. So I'm going to hit continue and see what happens. So right there, good job. Uh, you've arrived to the final step. Submit the track. You hit submit. And now all of those tracks are going to be on this app that you download called prime okay the emblem looks like this right here okay if you can see my cursor right there it's the prime multi-track app if you haven't downloaded that you can play that on your phone your ipad or your computer uh, so you click on that and i'm gonna type in um, to add a new song i'm gonna go here type in i still remember there it is right there it's already downloaded i click on that and it should pull the song up right here there it is so now whenever i i have all of these things here i have the acoustic guitar the bass choir all these stems 
and we have a click and cues. So you can control this depending on if you have click and cues set up at your church. If you don't, uh, totally, you can just take it out, you know, take it, turn it off or turn it on. And there you go. You're just ready to start using it. And it should, you know, there you go. So say I'm at a church and you don't want that to come through the house. You can just turn that off. Yep. And just go from there. So that is how you successfully upload uh, any multi-track that you buy from my website or say you buy the stems off of a different website and you're trying to figure out how to put them on uh, one program that runs all of that. That's exactly the, the process. Hopefully you stuck around for the whole video. And uh, if you haven't so far, like, comment, uh, subscribe, and hit the notifications button. And that way that we can notify you anytime that we post anything else for YouTube. So thank you so much for watching. God bless.